Hey everyone, welcome to a new tutorial on how to do a picture-in-picture -picture style video where you have the video with text bullet points on the side. So this comes from a student of mine, Jeff. Thanks so much for the question. I'm showing you how to do this in Premiere Pro today. I also have a tutorial on how to do it in ScreenFlow. So whether you're using either one, just watch the tutorial that you need on my YouTube channel. So here in Premiere Pro in our project panel, we have my test video. So this would be video of yourself talking. So this is what you need to do first. You have to record it. You can record it with a camera. You can record it with a webcam. However you do it, import it to Premiere Pro. Then we're just going to add this to a new sequence by dragging and dropping it to the new sequence button right there, the new item button. And now we have a new sequence with our video. We can play through it by hitting spacebar. Now we have to resize and add a white backdrop. So first let us resize just to show you what it's going to look like. But first let me just explain a little bit. You have your different layers, video layers. So here are tracks. You have one, two, three. We're going to move up our video to layer two. We're going to go up to our effects controls panel up here and we are going to make sure that we have our test video selected or this video of yourself and we're going to drop the scale something like 50. We'll see, we'll change it later uh, depending on how big our text is. And then we're going to go back to our new item button, go to color mat, hit OK, and then choose white or whatever color you want. I'm just going to call this white background, white BG and then drag and drop this underneath our video layer, so on the first layer. So now we have our white backdrop. We can move our test video, our video clip, by double clicking it in our program window and dragging it, moving it where we want to. We can even resize it this way. So say we want something like this. And now we have to add our text. So go to the new item button again, hit title. We can call this text one and then we're going to just add a text box. So we're going to click and drag and add a text box. And then you will notice that the color of our text over here is white, so we're going to change this to black. And then just start typing in our text box just so you have an idea of where you are because it's kind of hard to see with the white backdrop. So change the, it to the font you want. So let's just pick something like Avenir. This is a nice clean font. Now with Premiere Pro, they don't have a bullet point option, so what we're going to do to add bullet points is hit Option or Alt on your keyboard and then 8. So that adds a bullet point for most fonts. And you can change the size if you want of that bullet point because that's kind of big. And then you would just say here, you know, write down your notes. Here is your note 1. And then just copy this, so select all of this text, go to the end, hit enter or return and paste it. And just paste a few lines for the amount of bullet points you want. And then of course you would just change the text however you want. And then we can move it around. So using this selection tool we can move it to where we want it on our screen. Something like this. Looks pretty good. Maybe we want our video to be actually next to it. So let's put our text on top of our video layer. So we're going to take this text, which we just created, and add it to our third video track. Now just extend the end by clicking on the end and extending it. And then maybe we want to move our, our video. So we are going to have to use our effects controls tab to do this and just change the position. Maybe we want it in the middle. We can also resize the text through the effects controls if we want, something like this, just move it around. But it might be easier to go back into the text and resize it. So just double click the text and move it around that way. So something like that might look good. So that is basically how you do picture in picture. What you can do is then just duplicate this text one, so copy it. Control C and then Control V, rename it to text two, and then just drag and drop this onto our video where we want it. Go to that video, double click the text, and then say this is going to be note five, note six, note seven, note eight. And then we can just add a quick transition. So right click right in between where the two text layers meet and click apply 
default transition and now it just fades from one to the next. Or you can select both and hit Command D on your keyboard to add a transition. It's the automatic cross dissolve transition. And so that is basically how you add a text box and do the t picture in picture with a white backdrop in Premiere Pro. Of course, you can add photos behind you, you can add different colors, you can add different types of text, you can add multiple text. Say you want a title up here, you can add another text box and add a title up here to the top of your slides. Um, and that's pretty. That's a pretty easy way to do it. The other way to do it, which might be easier, is if you're more used to using PowerPoint to create your presentations, is to create a PowerPoint with this layout, with your text over on the side, with the blank spot over on the right side. So it would look something like this. So you'd create the, your slides in PowerPoint, and then you would export your slides in from PowerPoint as as JPEG images. Then you would import your images into Premiere Pro or whatever video editing software you're using, and then just lay them down where this white background layer is underneath your video layer, and then just move the video layer to where you want it on your screen. That's another easy way to do it if you don't want to design them in Premiere Pro. But Premiere Pro, it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. So again, thanks so much for the question, Jeff. I hope this answered your question. If you have any questions, please let me know. And also, as I mentioned, if you want to learn how to do this in ScreenFlow, check out my other tutorial. It's similar to how you would do it in Camtasia. So just check out that other tutorial on ScreenFlow, and that's again in my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in another tutorial. Hey YouTube, you like that video? Well, please subscribe to the channel for more. Check out our website for articles, webinars, books, and more. And of course, check out our online course library, ranging on topics from video making, motion graphics, photography, starting a business, freelancing, to beer brewing, resume writing, adopting a cat, and much more.